Pay attention. Hydration is key. I borrow it from Richard Simmons. Or send me a wolf. Hey everybody, my buddy Chuck, better known as the Mule and I, were recently in Colorado. The first part of the trip, I hiked a section of the Colorado Trail that he had already completed. While he was waiting for me to do that, he decided to go on an adventure to climb two 14ers. The first day he climbed Mount Chavano, and the second day he climbed Mount Elbert. Here's a little video of those adventures. Mm. Morning, uh, from the base of Mount Shabado. It's 5.30. I woke up uh, a lot later than I should have to hike up to the top, but uh, I can get out of here quickly, so it shouldn't be too bad. Uh, yeah, hopefully we make the summit today and get back down and then uh, head to Albert tomorrow, so... It was a good night in the car, about 50 degrees, not too bad at all, nice and cozy, so yeah, we'll talk to you when we're on the way up. About 8.30, just made tree line on uh, Mount Chavano. Took about two hours to get up this far. You'd like to think that that's the top, but it's not. It's a false summit. I only know because the last time I tried this, we got as far as the saddle up here and storm came in so we made the decision to go back so hey my youtube we're on top of Mount Chavano and very windy it's very cold Chuck has no gloves time to go down the hill what do you want to say Chuck Today is much nicer. There's not much wind, nice and cool. No clouds yet. So I'm gonna get up there, I'm gonna take my pictures and I'm gonna get down. I'll check in with you later. That's the official rock. <sighs> I feel like falling off the <laughs> Hands hey, to the top. Of Mount Shavano, 14,231 feet. I don't always wear shorts when I hike, but when I do, I borrow them from Richard Simmons. This was hard. But if you like this content, Chuck Norris Ronhound kick that like button, smash the subscribe, follow me on Instagram, snap me on Facebook, tweet me at OnlyFans, or send me a wolf. He's a... Uh. 
Where are you going? Make a move. Take your kid with you. <clears throat> Thank you. Usually we worry about bears at camp. Sometimes you gotta worry about cows. Back to the trailhead. <sighs> About 2.30. So that up and back was eight hours. I didn't spend much time at the top. I was feeling like crap. But yeah, that was tough. It was a challenge. Highlights. I stepped in the biggest pile of cow shit I've ever seen. saw a guy attempting to summit which his gear list included a 20 ounce bottle of water shoved into his pocket and that same guy had his trail mix stolen by a cow last night so it's been good I'm gonna rest get some fluids food and uh Make my way to Albert for tomorrow. <sighs> this is where hydration I just... is key. <laughs> Good morning. It's uh, seven a.m. About 35 degrees. Um, we just got to Mount Albert Trailhead. <clears throat> the access road is closed right now for construction. That will add about three miles to the day. Um, I'm supposed to resupply almost tonight. Um, so that may be another three mile walk. But uh, I guess it's a good warm up before we start climbing. Uh, you can see behind me Mount Albert, 14,460 feet, I believe. Who's counting? Oh yeah, it's gonna be a good day. <sighs> Let's get to walking. This is an alpine cricket eating an alpine cricket. You gotta do what you gotta do up here. We're back down at the trailhead. That's like four-ish o'clock. It took about 10 hours. I spent a good hour and some at the top. It was really nice weather, just enjoying it. It was great, it was a great experience. It's a challenge, definitely challenging. Uh, I'm gonna get back to the car, clean up, get something to drink, 
And then I need to go find Almos to give him some food so he can finish out his hike. So, yeah, should be a good day. Well, it's four o'clock. Should be a good night. <sighs> the mule has arrived and I have uh, drank all of my Gatorade Zero already. Mule, how the hell are you? great now yeah look at this <laughs> oh yeah oh. that's from buena vista colorado